he became sin so that you could become, I like some translations will, will say there, be made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Now, I think it's interesting there that it doesn't just say that we, that we, he did it so that we could become righteous. He did it so that we could be come or to be made the actual righteousness of God. I think that it takes it to another level of identity in him, of identifying with him and of him identifying with us. Because it's not just you're righteous, it's you are his righteousness. Now, again, this is one of these things that if it wasn't in the Bible, I, I would be I would feel like I'm saying something blasphemous, but it's in the it's in the book. You have become his righteousness, the righteousness of God. This is why when you do something unrighteous, you don't become unrighteous. It's not your righteousness that keeps you in right standing with God. It's his righteousness. So when you do something wrong, when you sin, when you do something, an unrighteous act, every single time that you miss the mark, he wants you to be able to come quickly to the throne of grace. You are free from that curse of sin. So he made you to become the righteousness of God. But the verse doesn't end there. Those last two words at the end are very, very important in him, in Christ. He wants us victorious. And this is the only way to do that, to actually make us righteous. But it's not in you. It's not in your strength. It's not because of anything that you've done. It's because of Jesus. It is in Christ Jesus that you have been made the righteousness of God in him. It's in him. You know, people get weird with this stuff. People like start to kind of make this about them. Like somebody cuts you off in traffic and it's like, touch not the Lord's anointed. You know what I'm saying? Like we can get weird with this and we can start to put the emphasis on us. And that is 100% missing the point and missing the objective here. The goal, the objective, the aim is Christ. This should not make anybody look at themselves. This should make all of us fall on our face in awe and wonder before God that he was able to send his son to be such a perfect atoning sacrifice that you and I, with all of our junk and all of our sinfulness and all of our condemnation and shame and all of the struggles and all the addictions and, and all of it, that he was able to take us in spite of all of those things and to make us righteous apart from the works of the law, apart from your and my own self-righteousness fully in him so that there's nothing that the devil can do, nothing that man can do, and even your own mistakes and your own mess-ups don't take you out of his grace and out of his righteousness and out of that right standing with God that you have because of what he's done for you, not because of what you've done. That's some good news. I love this verse.